I'm in my sewing room. I've got a pile of fabric around me, new fabric that I got for my 45th birthday. And before I put it away, I'm gonna share it with you, so stay tuned. Hi sewing friends, I'm Karina from liftingpinsandneedles.com. Welcome to this channel that is all about sewing, limitless sewing, and today I'm gonna to share some fabrics I've got for my birthday. A few days ago, I was 45, and my husband had been taking me pretty much yearly for a little fabric spree. Last year he couldn't because he was traveling, so that year was skipped. There was also a pandemic year that was skipped, so it's almost a yearly thing. So I was really excited when he told me that same morning that we were going out. I had been filming pretty much at dawn the video about my Aurora dress from Love Notions on my birthday. So it was a pretty rushed day trying to get it edited and then heading out. Thank you so much for all your comments about my birthday. I'm very grateful for you all and it warms my heart to read all your comments. Anyway, I was able to get some footage of the trip there and the fabric shops I visited. Before we see the fun shopping footage, I wanted to let you know that it's Friday. <laughs> Love Notions has a pattern on sale like every Friday and it's the Margaret Peplum. Also for the little girls, there's a version called Maggie. I have made quite a few of these. I do have footage all about it, how to sew it. I've actually never made it as a peplum. I've always made it as a dress. I just lengthen it. So I'll leave you all that information down below. It's a great basic to have. And if you wanna get it for $5, today is a great day. I've also made the little girls version for my nieces. So everything is linked in the description box and also in the pinned comment if you wanna grab yourself the Margaret Peplum today or the Maggie for the little girls. I was planning to visit quite a few shops but I ended up finding so much stuff in the only two shops I went to I thought no I'm not gonna keep going because it's just it's just too much <laughs> so let's see a little three minute clip about the trip to Americana which is the city that I go to it's like a an hour drive ish so it's not that close hi friends today is my 45th birthday and I'm on the road I have my iPhone on a tripod and a little microphone over here over here is driving me to a nearby town called Americana. <laughs> it's a town I've been before, it's like a textile center. I probably haven't been there in about a year and a half. Last time I went there, I went with my mom in 2022. So it's been a hot minute since I've been there. It's a pretty hideous day. It's really nice weather though, but it's really cloudy and dark and it's gonna probably rain later on. So when I'm on a hill going down, I'm just showing you how beautiful it is over here and how relaxing because it's sort of rural areas and everything's so green and luscious. where there's a little park here hubby's gonna park and work in that park he brought his computer so he doesn't get too bored but along the street walking that way for about two blocks there's a bunch of shops but this is the first one i always come to so towards that way i'm gonna walk and visit other shops but i always come to this one first because it's just huge and it has so much variety it's called galo tecidos so I'm super excited to come in here. It's a little dark, so I'm not sure if the footage is gonna be that great. It's actually quite overwhelming to come here because it's from that wall all the way to that other wall and it's packed and there's like little hallways in between. So let's see what we can find. I found a lot of athletic knits right here and they're the type that are made of polyamide. So I've been looking for a navy polyamide athletic knit for a while. It's a little lighter than navy, but it's still a really nice color. So I'm getting like two or three meters of that. I really like this print as well, the color. I really like this tone of stretch velvet. It's a dark type of green, really, really stretchy. And over here, what I look for is that this side is really soft. So I'm gonna get a little bit of that. Like most places here, you get your fabrics cut by dudes. Uh, they follow you around and you show them what you want so it can get done pretty fast I like this format where you can walk around the whole shop and everything's hanging like this at your reach where you can touch and it's not behind the counter or something and I'm always a sucker for these embroidered chambray type fabrics I'd never seen one in this beige color anyway I just whenever I see them I want them all this is an embroidered chambray and it's so beautiful I'm gonna get enough to make a shirt it's just really nice these big type of circles here that are embroidered in 
love it here is my little pile of fabric a bit of damage for my birthday i'm very happy i'm gonna go into another shop that's close by to the one i was just in this one's got more light it's a lot of rayon and a lot of linen in here there's so many colorful prints here and she tells me that this is dead stock from a brand called Fan Rio. I know the brand really well, it's in every single mall. It's usually super loud colors and prints. So I'm gonna see if I find something nice. <laughs> Sometimes they are a bit too loud for me, but there is one that I did like. Oh, it's just so wonderful to be here. I'm in the midst of all the fabric. Here's my outfit. <laughs> I've got my restore pants from Green Style. Just a black cami and my metro blazer from Love Notions, walkable heels. Um, I'm really, really comfortable. The pants are stretchy. I'm wearing long pants because it's a sort of cloudy, not so hot day. And a closer look at the pants is so great. They're just really versatile because they could be for working out or going out or whatever. Nice big waistband right there. So nice. I really love this ITY. It's such a different print i love prints like this that are not geometric or floral or anything and the blue tone is really pretty they have the same in the black colorway whenever i like something i usually get both colorways but we shall see i also like this leopard print in gray tones with this ity i think would make a really cool pair of wide leg pants Le this print here is just wonderful look at it so beautiful I knew this was gonna happen. It's raining so hard. My car is right there, so I'm gonna get wet. There you saw a peek of my restore pants from Green Style. You have really been enjoying them. I've been reading your comments. Actually, that video has more views than usual on my channel, so I'm sure you all like comfortable neat pants that fit well. <laughs> I already tested them out. You saw me wearing them in the fabric shop. The footage there wasn't so great. I was just with an iPhone in a dark place with bad audio, but yeah, I, I've worn them, I've enjoyed them. I know I'm gonna be reaching for them all the time. Remember they're still on sale till Tuesday. If you've missed the video about them, it's on the channel as well. So I'll leave all that information linked down below. I have fabric piled all around me and I've separated it into wovens and knits. I got more knits than woven this time. I'm actually shocked about that. Whenever I go to a shop, I'm never thinking what do I need? Because let's be honest, my collection is quite extensive it's just what do I like on the day <laughs> because I fall in love with fabric first I never have a project in mind I just love the fabric and then when I whenever it gets time to be made into a garment then I'll figure out what I'll do with it in the first shop I went to I showed you this embroidered chambray light to medium weight quite structured it would be great for a shirt or maybe a sheath dress I'm not sure I got one and a half meters which is over one and a half yards <laughs> And I would cut it cross grain so that all these features would be vertical like this. You can see the circle features, but also these things that unite them. I don't think I would want to sew it horizontally, which would be from one selvage to selvage. That would be the proper way of cutting it. So I think I would be happy to cut it on the cross grain. Whenever I cut wovens on the cross grain, I'm quite happy if it's a stable fabric like this. This is a cotton, it's 100% cotton. I'm gonna wash it maybe twice to be on the safe side and I'll be happy that it's not gonna shrink afterwards. So yeah, this is amazing. I'm very, very happy. These fabrics tend to always be pricier than other fabrics, but I think they're worth it because they're embroidered and they're just beautiful. I love it and I love this tone of blue. If it was a shirt, it would be amazing with some navy pants or navy shorts. I don't know, it's just so pretty. In that same shop, I found 100% cotton lawn. It's really lightweight, almost transparent, even though it's really lightweight and almost sheer. It's a structured fabric. This is not a drapey fabric. This is not something I would wanna do gathers with or flounces would be something with a bit more shaping like that. A shirt would be awesome. <laughs> I'm, I think I got about two meters, which is a little over two yards, and it's a gray leopard print. It feels so soft and so fresh on. For a hot day, this type of fabric is amazing. I also like using cotton lawn as lining for blazers and things. I hope it doesn't come to that because I love it so much. I hope it doesn't turn out to be a lining someday. But yeah, it's really pretty. In that second shop I went to, the sales lady, she told me there were some dead stock fabrics from Fam Rio. Fam Rio is a pretty common brand here that you see in all the malls. Usually I just walk past. Sometimes I've gone in, but the prints are just way too much, even for me. I like a nice loud tropical print, but these sometimes are just 
times 10. <laughs> it seems to be that this brand in other countries is commercialized as some amazing designer brand. It's just a regular brand here. It's just very normal. And they had some dead stock fabric there. So I had a browse. A lot of them were super, super bright. Like, yeah, but I found two that were really, really pretty. And this is one of them. It's more neutral. It's not colorful. The type of figure here is very firm. <laughs> I've seen this type of print there and it's a linen rayon blend. It's very nice. It's 70% rayon, 30% linen. It's got a lovely drape. This would be an amazing pair of wide leg pants maybe or a dress. I would have to think about something with not many pattern pieces so that it wouldn't disrupt this type of print. It would be a real pain to be trying to match this up on a border seam or something like that. I always think about that. So I wouldn't do anything with gathers or like dresses with tears where this gets cut right there. I just can't stand the look of that. So it would be something pretty simple. White leg pants comes to mind because it's usually just a front and a back leg. And this is amazing. They'd be sort of statement pants. They are a larger print, but then I'm tall, so I can get away with larger prints, I think. So I liked it. I liked it, that it was more neutral, beige and black. It's, yeah, it can go with anything. And I really loved it. So whenever I love something like this and I don't have specific, something specific in mind, I get about three meters, which is about, I don't know, three and a half yards because I know I can make pants and something else or a dress and something else. Yeah, I'm, I'm pretty much trying to think about two garments. And if you watch my videos, sometimes you see me make something with a fabric and then <laughs> some time passes and then I make something else with the same fabric. I do not have issues with that and I never mean to wear them as a set most of the time. They're just separate. And then the other one was this one. This one is a pretty large scale print. Let me see if I can find the birds. I know there's some birds in here. Here on the selvage, you can see one parrot. See, there's a beak there and the face and everything. <laughs> so there are quite a few large, large parrots in here. And this is, this is very farm real. I've seen stuff like this in the shop and I like it because it's black and white. So I'm all in for the huge obnoxious print, but I think it's a little bit more toned down because it's just black and white. If this was all colorful, then it would be way, way too much. And this is a rayon crepe. So it's a little heavier. It is 100% rayon, but the type of weave it has, it, it's just got more body to it, more weight. So this would be amazing for pants, a dress, I don't know because I liked it a lot as well. I got about two and a half meters, which is almost three yards, I suppose. It's really hard for me to convert because a meter is 100 centimeters and a yard is 90 centimeters. So yeah, everything's in meters here. This other one is pretty boring. I like getting my linen rayon blends. I collect them in all colors and I've been looking for a real burgundy for ages. So I think this actually does look burgundy on screen. I think it's a color that's being used a lot in fashion right now, but I don't really care about that. I just care that I like it. <laughs> and I've been looking for something like this. I have bought burgundy in the past that is more like a darker red actually, but this is actually a burgundy and I love it. So I got like three or four meters. I think I got four meters. Whenever I find a linen I like, I wanna make a jacket, I wanna make pants, I wanna make a skirt. Probably pull it off with about four meters. So that's what I got and the price was really good as well. Your linen rayon blends are always gonna be so much more affordable than 100% linen for sure. And they're just so soft, easy to work with and they wrinkle less. So it's a lot of pluses to them. And then this is my last woven and this one just blew my mind. This is not farm, nothing like that. It's just a regular rayon linen blend. This is a type that they sell quite a lot here that is 30 percent linen medium weight it's got a lovely texture and look at this print it's large scale as well in all these green tones I wouldn't say this is a camo print at all and I love the dark tones of green the lighter ones the beige the white oh so gorgeous so no plan in mind because I liked it I got a lot of it and I'm so happy with this one when the woman was cutting it out she like laid it on the table I fell in love with it even more than when just, I saw the little bit on the roll so that's always amazing <laughs> next I have some knits the next couple of pieces of fabric are ITY knits this is one I showed you when I was filming I really liked it because I'd never seen anything like it in blue it's royal blue which is a color that I really like. I really like the feel of this ITY. It's not as lightweight as others that I've seen around. Not all ITY is the same. 
and I really like this one. I really love the feel of it. Then I got two more that were in the same place, same quality, same price, everything. <laughs> I also had shown you this gray tone leopard print. I think it's pretty, it's a small type of print, it's not huge, and it's got different shades of gray in there. Some areas have darker and others have lighter. I'm a little bit into animal print, let's be honest, it's grown on me over many, many, many years. I'm gonna say I like it now, but it has to be gray, and if it's beige, it has to be on the smaller print and it has to just be sort of subtle. <laughs> then this is the third ITY I got, and it's this print. Love the neutral tones here, beige, black and white. As soon as I saw it, I liked it. I liked the colors and I liked the swirly bits. And for all of these ITYs, I got like three meters, which is quite a lot. It could get me quite a few garments. If I like the print, as I said, I don't mind making a few garments out of the same print. No, I have zero issues with that in my head, zero. This is one that I have found in several colors, in black, in red, in navy. And it's one that looks like cotton, broderie and glaze, but it's actually just a poly knit. Um, it's very lightweight, easy to wear, easy to sew. And it's got all that embroidered feature here. And this type of blue is amazing. I love this color blue and I'm always looking for knits in this blue. I think it does suit me and I've made quite a few blue things, but I'd never found this blue that I love so much in this type of fabric. So I got one and a half meters, which will get me two tops, I think, in different styles. Maybe I'd like to make a cami and a dolman style. Have different styles, but with the same fabric. Love it so much and I was so happy to find that color. The next couple of knits are heavier. Now I did show you when I found this stretch velvet. It's such a lovely color. I don't know how I found it because it was stuck in between so many other fabric. And in that place, there was actually no other stretch velvets there. This was the only one. I don't know if it was misplaced because I did find another section in another place I had more but this color wasn't there. When I do recommend stretch velvet for some garments, I always mention the butt, the asterisk, because they're not all the same. So a lot of the ones I have in my collection have horizontal stretch, but zero vertical stretch. Like if you push them down, you know, along the selvage, there's nothing, it's zero stretch. But this one, this one stretches vertically and horizontally, which makes it much more versatile. It means I can make pants, I can make a fitted dress. So I'm always looking to see when I see stretch velvet, how does it stretch? Because if it does have vertical stretch, you have many more uses for it than the ones that only stretch horizontally. If it only stretches horizontally, then you're stuck to making hoodies or things that have a lot of positive ease. So be careful when you buy your stretch velvet, it just depends on what you want it for. I always prefer it to have some vertical stretch as well. And I was so happy to find the color that I like that has that and is also mega soft on the inside. So it was a great find. These other ones are really heavy athletic knits. These are polyamide. These are in the 12 ounce range, um, about 350 GSM, around that much. And these are great for pants or a fitted dress. What I like about them is that they're matte. These are polyamide 88%. 12% spandex, that means they have amazing recovery. And then I found this print, which is not common to find in these, and it's green and it's got paisley. It's so awesome. I mean, this would make an amazing fitted dress. So I got two meters out of this. I think I could squeeze a dress and a pair of leggings out of this and it would be amazing. And then on the boat, I showed you I wanted to get some navy, which is pretty boring, but this is great. <laughs> and then I bought some green, like green, green, forest green. I really love this color as well, and this could work for pants, for a fitted dress, or whatever, leggings, I don't know. I just love the color, and I've never seen it, and I don't have it. So my collection grows. Now I've got to find some space for all of these. I have these wardrobes here that I've shown before. I'll link to a video that shows you my sewing room, if you haven't seen it. If you're curious, where do I store all my fabric? It's all on this closet right here. It's up to the roof, basically. So I've got to find some space to put these in. I'm excited to have all these new fabrics. Did I need them all? Of course not. But this was a tree my husband, I'm grateful. I'm just really happy with the things that I found. I truly bought them because I love them, not because I was looking specifically for them. It's just me going into the shop, seeing something nice and getting it because it was my tree, it was my birthday. So thank you so much to my hubby for that. <laughs> when we met, I was 21. I had already been sewing for a good 10 years and I had a sewing machine and I was showing him my stuff that I made. Like he knew from the get-go that I was obsessed with this stuff. So 
a great gift. He knows it's going to be fabric. It's not going to be some whatever random thing. It, it's a good gift for me if he, if he gives me fabric. So that's nice. <laughs> because we're in my sewing room and this is right there, I'm going to show you a sneak peek of something I'm sewing and that I'm going to keep on sewing once I finish all of this. Look at this sleeve with bound seams and the bound hem in 100% linen and look at this amazing binding. Just a sneak peek, I won't tell you what it is. You'll be seeing this garment made up in early March. I have a super busy weekend coming. I have this jacket to finish and something else. As always, I'm always sewing about a thousand kilometers an hour because that's what we do around here. I hope you subscribe so you don't miss any of the fun content and I hope you have a restful weekend. I won't, I'll see you soon. <laughs> Bye.